Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Cahill with NRL Consulting and today I wanted to give a quick, very simplified use case on how data visualization can help you plan for the uncertain times we are currently in. While data visualization can be used against other data sources such as planning or S-based, as long as certain design criteria is followed, in this example I will be using a simple spreadsheet against DB, data visualization. For this demonstration, I am the CFO of a small retail company called Paperclip that sells office supplies such as paper, pens, office chairs, you name it. Since social distancing is in place, people have stopped coming into our physical stores to purchase products. On top of that, almost all of our customers are even working in an office right now. Everyone is either working from home or laid off. I initially wasn't worried as I was naively optimistic that the people working from home would outweigh the negative effects of social distancing and not shopping at paperclip stores. Unfortunately, that has not been the case. It turns out that since all of our stores are brick and mortar, people would rather stay in their homes and deal with whatever materials they already have versus coming into one of our stores and purchasing supplies. To top it off, the situation is continuously getting worse as stores are forced to close across the nation due to mandatory stay-in-place orders, curfews, etc. So now it's the end of March and sales are down 85%. I saw a brief overview of scenario modeling on NRL Finance News website, and while I'm not sure the paperclip company has given me access to a complete set of tools to implement a full scenario model really quickly, I have decided I can at least start crushing some numbers and see what would happen to Paperclip's next sales amounts with three different scenarios I can foresee happening in the future. The first scenario and what I'm hoping for is a quick recovery. So in this scenario, sales are going to decrease throughout the first quarter as we have seen, then start getting back to normal next quarter. Another scenario would be delayed recovery in which sales actually continue decreasing throughout the second quarter, then start gradually increasing over quarters three and four, ultimately getting back to normal, but not until the end of 2020. Last, my sort of worst case scenario would be prolonged contraction, in which like delayed recovery scenario, um, sales will continue to decrease throughout quarter two, but instead of recovering in the second half of 2020, the numbers will remain stagnant and we don't see a true increase in sales start until January 2021, and it takes the entire year to get back to our typical sales numbers at the start of 2022. As far as I know, like I said before, the paperclip company doesn't have access to a fancy planning or SBA system, but I know I have Excel in a certain Oracle Analytics Cloud tool called Data Visualization. I started a spreadsheet of data by month by including in this year's actual values, then pulled in my actual numbers from last year and put them in a scenario called budget. I then decrease and increase these values to mimic the type of sales numbers we might see per month for each of these scenarios accordingly. And this was my result. While these numbers are beautiful to look at, it's hard to look at the spreadsheet alone and derive my financial forecast numbers off of it. So I put this spreadsheet as a data source in data visualization and started to play around. I currently have the canvas filtered to 2020 to focus on this year's numbers. The blue line represents our actual sales amount from last year. The purple line indicates this year's actual sales amounts. You can hover over any data points on the line to see the actual dollar amounts. So I can see that last year this company made $380,000 in sales in March, whereas this year we only made $95,000. This image clearly paints a picture and tells a story on what is happening to our sales right now. So now let's start pulling over our quick recovery numbers and see how these compare. We know we can't do anything about the first three months, so these will match actuals. However, in this best case scenario, we immediately start to recover across quarter two and reach a normality, matching our 2019 sales numbers by quarter three. Next, I'll pull over delayed recovery to paint a picture of what that looks like.
In this scenario, it takes us a full year to get back to normal sales numbers. Last and certainly the least favorite, we'll pull over prolonged contraction. Notice that 2020 has not even ended and we are still way less in sales amounts than expected. Let's remove the filter that is hiding the 2021 month so we can see two years of data. If you had to derive your financial forecast based on these scenarios, would you rather look at the numbers on the spreadsheet I showed earlier or this live visual representation? Right now, the priority is getting this information out there and quickly, so I will stop here. However, I could add commentary within the narrate portion of data visualization, update my numbers very easily, share my presentation, and more. What I demoed here today is a simple line chart, but there are several other charting options that you can use through DB to take your analysis even further into product, location, whatever you want based on the different what-if versioning you come up with. The planning doesn't stop here. If this were a real scenario modeling example, you would want to plan each of these scenarios for your top five KPIs and then ultimately discuss action plans on each of these scenarios happening. You then need to communicate this information out to the appropriate audiences at your company. In comes narrative reporting. So stay tuned for a future video and stay safe out there.